I told you in my uh, recent unboxing video that I would give you guys a full review of the signature chain hobo that I got from the coach outlet sale um, after I had had a chance to actually use it so I can give you a honest review of it so I'll tell you the good points and the bad points and show you around the bag a little bit so this was the beautiful signature chain hobo bag and I got this from the Coach Outlet website, but it was a retail bag, and it was 70% off when I got it. And I'll show you the, let me get the tags, Let's see if you can see the, so the, here's the item information. Retails for $350, signature chain hobo in black and brass. And it is a beautiful bag, definitely beautiful. I was really surprised when I first got it because it is so lightweight. And someone had asked if it was a stiff bag and it's not, it's really, the leather is very soft and malleable, but it's structured. So it doesn't lose its structure, but it's not a hard bag if that makes sense. It still stays pretty squishy, but it's not gonna slouch or break in anymore, I don't think. So it has an interesting, uh, layout here because it's got a top flap that just closes with a magnet inside and the magnet is very very good it didn't ever um, open up on me even when it fell off the car seat it stayed closed now I did notice one little flaw in my bag and that is it's got like a something under here under the leather like something wrinkled underneath I don't know if they use something to push the magnet into place and it stayed there. I don't know what that is, but the magnet is so nice that I don't, <laughs> I don't care. I mean, it's a good magnet and um, it's on the inside anyhow, so it's not like it's that noticeable. So that's the only fly I could find on this bag. It does have a nice sized back pocket and my phone definitely fit in here. No problem at all, even in the case. So that fits. And then it's got the Signature C chain, which is a very lightweight chain. Don't be afraid of this chain. It's not heavy. It's not going to scratch the bag. I was worried about that. Very lightweight, kind of a hollow chain, but it's a pretty brass finish and it's not removable. It just is uh, bonded on right there. You've got the coach hang tag. And let me tell you the measurements of this before I continue. So this is at the widest point, about 10 and a half inches across, nine inches tall. And let's see here, about three and a half inches wide, almost four. So it's a really perfect medium sized bag. I was really happy with the size of this. Now when I first got it, I determined that I was just gonna use it with the shoulder strap that comes with it. And so it would be like a true hobo type bag, just a shoulder bag. But when I started looking at the crossbody strap, I thought, well, maybe I'll just go ahead and put that on for going shopping so I'm totally hands-free. And it's a beautiful strap. It does come off, but it attaches with the little pegs. So that's a little different, but they're not hard to get off at all. The thing about the crossbody strap though is it does not have any adjustments. So you're stuck with whatever length this is. Now I'm 5'6", which is kind of like a medium tallish height, but I am short bodied, so I don't usually, or short waisted, so I don't usually have problems with a crossbody strap being too short. And I didn't think I would with this one either. When I tried it on, it felt comfortable. But as I was out shopping, it started riding up against my neck more and more and it's just like a hair too short for me it's I don't know if it was with the bag full that it was wearing on me it's a very very flexible strap and I wanted to show you the difference between this strap and if you have the coach dreamer shoulder bag this is 
the strap for that. And it's also soft and flexible, but it's adjustable. And it does also have the brass hardware. So I think if I want to wear this crossbody, I'm going to swap it out. But you can see the thickness of the signature chain hobo. See how much thicker that is? And the Dreamer shoulder bag, or the, yeah, the Dreamer shoulder bag doesn't have a thin strap. I always thought it was kind of medium. But you can also see that it's very, um, I don't know. It's close in thickness, but this is just thinner. It's more flexible. And I thought that would equate being more comfortable, but it did not. It was not very comfortable. So I'm probably going to go ahead and take this off. And this one is an easy one to remove from the pegs. Then you feed it through here and take it off. I might use this as a long shoulder strap with a different bag. Um, it does, it is a good length for a long shoulder strap, but I think if you are over 5'5", five five, you're going to find it very difficult to use this strap as a true crossbody strap. I think I just lost a piece of it too. <laughs> it has a little, a little thing that, a little loop. I think it just came off. I'll have to find that. Oh, here it is. Be careful of that. <laughs> That's something I didn't know I needed to watch out for. So I found it. So I'll just keep it closed and put this away somewhere else. And then I'm going to just use it with either the Dreamer strap or this one. And if you do have the Dreamer shoulder bag, something else I thought would be pretty is you could wear it with the um, long chain strap too and put that on this and it matches almost perfectly so I think that would be a good option as well they've got lots of things you can do by mixing and matching your bags so let me show you what fits in here so in this back pocket here I just had a pack of gum and some extra masks and that back zipper is the only pocket inside this bag which I actually like. I like to be able to open it and see everything. And then I have my little vitamin pill container. I have a little business card case that I love. It's so cute. I don't even remember where I got this. I've had it forever. But uh, I don't think it's... Well, it could be real leather. Probably from Amazon or something. But it's just a little hard card case. Very cute size. That fits. Then I'm using this wallet right now, <clears throat> and I think I might have shown you guys this before in my wallet collection video, but this is a Gianni Bernini brand from um, Macy's, and I think it was called the Squishy Wallet or the Soft Wallet. It's um, in the burgundy color, but it holds quite a bit. I've got my credit cards in here, some rewards cards, it's got pockets in here got more pockets under here and it's got more pockets under here and then it's space for cash and then on the back and I like that it has two snap closures so if you fill it up you can clip it on the other one and it's got a space for change as well so it's a handy little wallet and these are cheap I think I must have gotten this on sale for like $18 or something and it is all leather very soft but the stitching is not very good on it. I had some little spots where I had to kind of trim them. But it's a cute all leather wallet. So I have that. And then I have my new Dooney medium zip wristlet in the color chocolate. And that I just have the same things I think I had last time. Just had a vaccine card, powder, an inhaler, and some just some little odds and ends. So that's a good handy size. I have my little coach, little handy, uh, what was this called? Heritage Turnlock case. And it is the perfect size for hand sanitizer. Absolutely perfect. Just fits right in there. I love these little guys. That's in the men's section at the outlet, but I don't think they have them anymore. A little 
coin pouch, just a little cheapy AliExpress linen coin pouch, but I thought the print was so cute with the little hedgehogs on it. And in here I just have my headphones and some change. That's so cute. And then the upside down, just like Louis Vuitton on the back, right? <laughs> so there's that. And then I have my glasses. So it does hold quite a bit of items um, for its size. And it is, like I said, a very, very lightweight bag. There are no feet on the bottom. And it's just a very basic hobo style. But yeah, it was easy to carry. I liked the narrowness of it against my body. It was not hard to maneuver around with a bulky bag or anything. It's just that crossbody strap was very annoying and I don't think I would use the strap that it came with on it again but next time I take it out I'm gonna try it with just this shoulder strap and you can even use the chain as a shoulder strap as well it's got a lesser drop by a couple inches even though online the drop is supposedly the same it's not because you've got the um, clasp and I don't think they took that into account when they measured because you've got a good couple inches difference here. So yeah, there you go. That is my Coach Signature Chain Hobo if you're wondering how it wore and if I still like it. I love it. I think it's a beautiful bag. It's just going to take some getting used to and uh, getting the strap correct on it. So I hope you liked this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time.